Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada. Google Meet has a new updated look and it is finally easier than ever to see your students while you're presenting. All this and more in today's video. The first thing you'll notice about the updated look is the trimmed down slimmer toolbar at the bottom of the screen. So now all of the options appear at the bottom which allows for more room for you to see all the participants in your meet. So you'll see in the old look, it's got the number of participants in the top, as well as the chat and the activities. Those all now appear at the bottom in a much smaller version. And I actually like having all of the options at the bottom because your eyes can just like scan the bottom instead of having to look all around the screen for whatever it is you're looking for. Another new feature allows you to have more control over your video feed. So there's a new button that will allow you to minimize your video feed, which means everybody else can still see you, but you won't have to see yourself. It'll then create a tiny little box that you can drag around the screen. And at any point, you can um, open that box back up so that you can see yourself. I know a lot of people have mentioned that one of the fatigues that they're getting is constantly seeing themselves. Even though they're on these meets, they don't want to see their own picture. So this will allow you to minimize that so everybody else can see you, but you don't have to see yourself. You can move that around, and then you can put it back into the grid. And perhaps one of the biggest updates is having the ability to see what you're presenting and see your students at the same time. This is something that teachers have been asking for for a while, and this update will allow the presenter more options um, while they're presenting. So you don't have to worry about asking the students, can you see this? Is my screen showing this? Because now you'll be able to see what you're presenting and you'll be able to see your students. And with the new update, all of their names and all the names of the participants will be over the box so that you can see everybody even when they're not talking. Um, you don't have to like move your cursor anymore. Their names will just be listed and so you can see them uh, during the meeting. So to quickly review all of the changes, uh, you can now hover over the video feed for options between a tile in the grid or a floating picture. You can resize, reposition, and hide it to concentrate on the call like I showed you. Uh, your self-view appears at the bottom right of the grid to put more video feeds at eye level as you look into the camera. Uh, you'll be able to see what you're presenting while in the meet. You can unpin the content you or others share to see more and larger video feeds. Participant names are always visible regardless of the meeting size. Uh, we talked about that bottom bar, which will have the meeting dial-in codes, attachments, the participant list, chat, and other activities at the bottom right to create more vertical space for seeing people and content. Controls are consolidated in one place with descriptions available upon hovering over them. The leave the call button is going to be moved away from the microphone and camera button, so you will no longer accidentally leave the call. The bottom feed will always be visible and will not cover the cover captions at the bottom video feeds. And some of the other visual updates include when someone speaks, their tile will be outlined in blue. The mute indicators are subdued to reduce visual distraction. And when there are more participants than can be shown on the grid, a tile is added so you can always remember who's on the call. Google has announced that they will begin rolling out these updates on May 3rd for people in the rapid release domains and on May 17th for those in scheduled release domains. And they always tell you that it could be up to 15 days to be able to see those features. They've also said that this will be available to all workspace users and it will be available to anyone using Google Meets with a personal Google account. So this is a very exciting update. Visually, the new Google Meets looks fantastic and teachers are gonna love having the ability to see what they're presenting and to see their students at the same time on the same screen. If you're excited about this update and you know of any other teachers who will be equally as excited, please feel free to share the video with them. And make sure to check out the description below where you'll find links to several other Google Meet videos and tutorials. And if you haven't already, please take a second and click on that subscribe button below and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time there's a new video. Google has teased some more updates coming to Meets with features such as video backgrounds and a whole bunch of other things. So you wanna make sure that you don't miss any of these updates. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.